We are given set A and set B, and asked to find the Cartesian product of A and B, the Cartesian product of A and A, and then also how many elements we expect to be in the Cartesian product of B and B. The Cartesian product of A and B is the set of all ordered pairs in the form of little a comma little b, where little a is an element of set A, and little b is an element of set B. So let's work on determining the Cartesian product of A and B, which again is going to be a set of ordered pairs, where again the first element in each ordered pair will be from set A, and the second element of each ordered pair will be from set B. Let's first list all the ordered pairs where the first element from set A is one. This will give us the ordered pairs one comma three, one comma four, and one comma five. Let's go ahead and list those. Again, we have one comma three, one comma four, and one comma five. And now let's list the ordered pairs where the first element in each ordered pair is the element two from set A. This will give us the ordered pairs two comma three, two comma four, and two comma five. Notice the Cartesian product of A and B contains six elements, where each element is an ordered pair, and also notice set A has two elements, set B has three elements, two times three is six. And now let's work on determining the Cartesian product of A and A, sometimes referred to as A squared. The Cartesian product of A and A is equal to the Cartesian product of the set containing the elements one and two, and the set containing the elements one and two. Again, this will be a set of ordered pairs. So again, let's list the ordered pairs where the first element is one from the first set A, and the second element is from the second set A. This will give us the ordered pairs one comma one and one comma two. And now we'll list the ordered pairs where the first element is two from the first set A. This will give us the ordered pairs two comma one and two comma two. Notice the Cartesian product of A and A has four elements, where each element is an ordered pair, and set A has two elements, two times two is four. And then finally for the last question, we're asked how many elements do we expect to be in the Cartesian product of B and B? Well, this would be equal to the cardinality of the Cartesian product of B and B. And since B has three elements, three times three is equal to nine, the Cartesian product of B and B, or B squared, would be a set containing nine ordered pairs, or nine elements. I hope you found this helpful.